Hi guys, in the last part of the video, we discovered what complex ions were and also looked a little bit closer at ligands. We now need to look at the shapes that complex ions make when they're formed. Complex ions have a variety of different shapes and the most common is octahedron. An octahedron is a regular eight-faced shape. It comes in the form of two pyramids stacked on top of each other. So we've got this green pyramid at the top here, connected to this blue pyramid at the bottom, and this shape together forms the octahedron. Octahedral complexes have six coordinate bonds, and it's each one of these six ligands that bonds to it that forms one of the corners of the octahedron that gives the compound its name. Four of the bonds lie in a plane, and the other two are perpendicularly above and below the plane. So we show this when we draw the complex iron by having the dashed bonds going back into the page and the wedged bonds coming out of the page towards us. And it's these four ligands here which form the corners of the plane shown by this green square here. You can think of it as a flat surface. And then the other two ligands are above and below that plane, shown again here with the green square to try and give it some more perspective. Examples of ligands that form octahedral complexes are water and ammonia, and the reason they form octahedral complexes are because they are the right size to fit six molecules of them around a metal iron. It's not just monodentate ligands, however, that can form octahedral complexes. We can form octahedral bond structures with multidentate ligands as well. For example, here, where we've got nickel with 3 En, which, remember, is ethane 1,2-diamine. Each of these molecules bonds on to the central ligand twice. So here I've circled one of the molecules in green, and you can see that it's bonding on both above the plane and within the plane of four ligand bonds that we have around the nickel. So it only takes three molecules of the En to occupy all six of the coordinate bonds and form the complex iron. Not all ligands form octahedral complexes, though. Chloride ions are larger than water and ammonia, and so we can only fit four of them around the metal ion rather than six. The four chloride ions that we fit round gives us the shape of a tetrahedron, so it's a tetrahedrally shaped complex ion. We draw this tetrahedral shape by having two straight bonds showing that they're in the pl plane of the paper, so they're lying on the surface of the screen, and then we have a dashed bond which goes into the screen and a wedged bond which comes out. Both copper chloride and cobalt chloride form this tetrahedral shape, which is shown here by this triangular-based pyramid. A rarer configuration for when we have four coordinate bonds is a square planar shape. This is where two of the bonds are shown going into the screen and two of the bonds are shown coming out with wedges, which forms a flat plane, again shown here by a blue square. The only other shape that you're likely to encounter is the linear shape of silver with two ammonia ions as ligands. This is formed when we used Tollens reagent. And you can see here it just has a straight line shape and a positive charge. That's all for this video guys, so let's summarise. Complex ions consist of a transition metal surrounded by ligands which donate electron pairs. Common ligands include water, ammonia and chloride ions. We can have ligands that only attach in one place to the metal ion, which are monodentate ligands, or we can have polydentate ligands where multiple pairs of electrons are donated from the same molecule or ion of ligand. Octahedral complexes have a coordination number of six, meaning that they form six dative covalent bonds with the metal iron, and all of the bonds are separated by either 90 or 180 degrees from each other. Complexes with four-fold coordination have commonly tetrahedral shape, and in more rare situations can show planar shapes. Thanks very much for watching.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revised smiley face and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.